Today we are at the home of the Terps, University of Maryland. I'm here with Max Riley. He's going to be showing us around today. I'm really excited about this one. So here it is, home. Yeah, home. During the season, I've put a massive stand up along this here. On this side? Yeah, this side. Okay. Across the whole sideline. A massive one behind this goal and a massive one behind that goal. That is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back home, obviously, you don't really play on turf anywhere no. near as much. All here grass. it's like everywhere's all, turf. All Astro, and then yeah. some schools are grass. And he comes to it like, this is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's like four stands. Full. Yeah, and like full. during the season, every stand is full. Yeah. It's just like five, six thousand people. Just you were saying earlier about how it's like yeah. one of the biggest attendances. One of the biggest attendances in the country. That's one of the reasons I came here as well, because of that. Yeah. Just unreal. Yeah, that's Un just that unreal atmosphere. Sick. Like, who's like the biggest team that you've played here at home? Like in terms of like crowd, I guess let's do let's do two crowd and then one like a reputation of a team that you're like yeah that was a big game. We played Wake Forest here last year. Right, that was kind of probably both. I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean obviously they were unreal last year. We missed a penalty. They hit the path two times. Oh, it's probably about four thousand. 4,000, 5,000 right. people here, and that was unreal. It was like it was a Tuesday night, so it wasn't even a Friday night. Wow. Unreal. This is a joke. Unreal. How old is this? A couple of years old? Yeah, I would say about two, three years old. It's brand new. Unbelievable facility. American football facility. It's just unreal. Training wise, when the weather gets bad, we come in here. Obviously, we've got two goals on either side. Right. Astro's nice. Dining halls up there. Like, we run camps in here during the summer and all the parents like watch there. Just watch from up there. Yeah. Is that a track around or that's just yeah, like no, seating? Yeah, there's, there's a, a track. Around, yeah, yeah, around here. Wow. And then through those. Yes, yeah, so this is the weight room. And then they could just open these up as yeah, well. Yeah, like each individual rack is yeah. assigned to a player. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Wow, look at that stadium. Yeah, sick in it. And you can go, we can go down as well. Is the M in there as well? That's nice. As you can bloody well tell, we're at the American Football Stadium. You yeah. still sort of guesstimated like 40,000? 40, 45,000, like yeah, yeah. And then right here, then you said this all, is... Yeah, this whole building is our athletic, athletic centre. And our locker room is just right behind it. And this is the tunnel. Oh, the so this is where football. the American football players run out. And it like connects to their locker room. Underneath? Oh, right yeah, wow. it goes underneath everything. Imagine coming out to a stadium this big. Like, unreal. That is crazy. Yeah. How many weight rooms are there on campus? Because obviously we saw the American yeah, football one. Yeah, so there's the American football one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And this is for all the athletes except American football, basketball, field hockey and lacrosse, girls lacrosse. This is, this is my rack here. So it's your rack? Yeah, this is mine. I'm in here. Does that get assigned or that's just like your preference no, every time you just I'm, come in? I'm in here every time by myself, yeah. yeah. Ben, on your own? Yeah, on my own. Yeah. Wow. Because we've got, we don't have a lot of numbers this spring, so yeah. everyone's in partners. I'm the old guy out. I like it that way. Work yeah. by myself. Get your work done. Yeah. yeah oh, you got like little shots yeah, as well? Yeah, shots and stuff. And then after lift, we've got all those shakes and stuff. And yeah. You can come in whenever and grab any of these. Really? Yeah, yeah. Those grapes are very nice if you want some. This is the weight room. That is nice. We get after it at half seven in the morning. <laughs> And you say you're in here how often per week in general? So during the spring, we're in here three times a week, Tuesday, right. Thursday, Friday, primarily after practice. Yeah. Um, then during the season, twice a week. Nice. Yeah. This is the locker room. Lovely. Guys are upstairs, girls are downstairs. But here we go. And then this is us. These are the big boys. Put all this in. Yeah. This is lovely. Yeah. Four stars. Yeah. Four national Four championships. Nights. This was us last year. I got the injured guy in before me. <laughs> yeah, but oh, this is sick. Right, all the pros. Oh, these are all the pros. Wow. That is pretty cool. Okay. Nice little nod to the uh, alumni. Yeah, and then this is the locker room. Nice. What up? What's up? How's it going? Jack. It's Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Obviously, we all were sponsored by Under Armour, but if you've got like injuries, they like buy your Nike boots and you black them out. So. Oh, okay. Like. <laughs> Yeah, these like just mercurials. So when you're playing on a match day, you have to wear Under Armour. Yeah, unless you have like injuries. So I'm allowed to wear Nike. And you just get like they you get them you at get the beginning of the year. Yeah, you get as many boots as you want. Like, wow. I just got a new pair like two days ago. It's not bad. Yeah, a couple of weeks, new pair of Nikes. Yeah. You like, get runners and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, nice. Pair of trainers there, slides, lifting shoes. 
Would you come here first? Yeah, always come in here first. Yeah. 45 minutes, you need to get here before if you want like treatment and stuff. Right, and, and that's then, just around the corner? Just around the corner there. Yeah. And then 30 minutes, just if you want to just come chill. Right nice. Before, stuff, which is nice. So this is our video room. Wow. This is where we do all film sessions and stuff. I've not seen anything like this for a soccer program yet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so we use this, baseball uses this, but I mean, it's primarily for us. And yeah, nice. Comfy like, seats as well. Oh, like, let's just say sometimes during film Sometimes sessions, you're nodding off. Nodding off, isn't it? Yeah, I'm like, my seat's against the wall as well. So yeah, it's so you got the, yeah, you got the side. It. So you got all this just for training. Yeah, and you can come out here whenever, obviously all the balls and stuff. Yeah. Somewhere in the locker room and in the sheds. Yeah, over there, you can come out here whenever. So that's nice. Text coaches, turn the lights on. They'll turn the lights on for you. Nice. Oh, and then you got two grass fields over two there. Yeah, two grass pitches. Tell you what, this place blowing my mind right now. <laughs> this is as professional as I've seen from a college setup in terms is it? of, in terms of like what you're talking about, the, yeah. like the rondo boxes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, rondo boxes. You've got like separate fields, sort yeah. of like all of the equipment and stuff. Yeah, and the th nice thing is that they've done is like, you've got two pitches basically. So you've got one this way. Yeah. And then on the other side, you've got one this way. And then you see the red painted things here? Yeah. You've got also well, a pitch going this way, yeah. Straight ahead, which nice. is nice. You're a sophomore this year, correct? Yeah. yeah How did you end up here. at UMD? Yeah, so obviously being from England, parents moved over around eight, nine years ago. Yeah. So obviously moved to the area, so that helps. Yeah, yeah, recruiting massive. locally. Yeah. And obviously going back in the summer and playing for like these pro teams. Like I was at Sheffield United for summer, right. at Barrow for summer. Nice. So just having that. A lot of experience yeah, in the bank. Playing with the pros and it's then coming here and obviously playing for a local team here. Yeah. Play for Bethesda here. And I got recruited by Sasha to come here and loved it ever since. Really. Yeah, I mean, like I've said yeah, multiple times so, today, uh, it's, it's a bit of a joke. I didn't really expect, like I knew it was going to be good, but this is yeah. sort of taking me aback. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've got everything you can come out here whenever you want yeah. balls co text the coaches if they're still here yeah can you come out here and work on some finishing with me they'll come out here like they do everything to make us better yeah and that's what i love about it but i would say being here and traveling to all these different facilities this is the place that feels most comparable to like the pro level right okay which is why i love it really yeah like we do anything to win like that's our focus yeah it's winning and hopefully we can do that and it seems year. like everything here is sort of geared towards that so yeah yeah, Hopefully yeah. a big year coming. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. So like from here all the way over there, it's just dorms. All through there? Yeah. This is where everyone stays then. Yeah. And all these like, are the new freshman ones. dorms. Quite obviously. Usually. Yeah. These are the newest. Yeah. Obviously you've got this whole new square. Yeah. Which is pretty sick. Nice. Come to the end of our tour. The weather's coming down. It's time to wrap up. It's been amazing. Yeah, appreciate Cheers it, man. Yeah. Thanks for having us around. It's yeah. been like, definitely. Thank you for coming. Eye opening, that's for sure. Yeah. What a facility. What a place. University of Maryland. And uh, yeah, like always, remember, do it for the love of the game. Thanks. Nailed it. Yeah, of course. Cheers, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, pal. Well done. No, oh, brilliant.